All right. Well, welcome. Today we are going to talk a little bit about how to choose a coding language if you want to start a new project. Maybe you are new to coding, maybe you're new to engineering, maybe you just want to learn to code because it's like the thing to do right now and it's going to make you more valuable in your career, maybe your current job, maybe a new job that you want to get, or you want to build a robot, right? And coding is going to help you um, set up the algorithms, the um, decision-making abilities, the logic, I guess, that will run your robot. If you don't know who I am, I'm Liz Miller. I'm a robotics engineer, the founder of Learn Robotics. I help people get into the robotics industry. And today I'm going to share with you my tips on how to choose a coding language. And we're going to just walk through this cool little document that I put together for you. It's just a quick little training. Shouldn't take more than five minutes. All right. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to figure out what project you're working on. So there are certain coding languages that are better suited for certain applications. So if you want to build a website, it might be a little bit different than building a robot, right? Because the end result is going to be an online application. Maybe there's a front end, there's a back end, whereas like a robot is a physical device in the real world and you are writing something to maybe move motors, maybe collect data from sensors and things like that. The overarching goal with software is very similar across all applications. You're trying to solve a problem and you use some logic and decision-making and algorithms to do that. The um, main idea here is you want to figure out what it is you're trying to create and then choose the appro appropriate language to learn to create that project. The next thing that you want to consider is what do you already know? So if you know some programming languages, maybe you were exposed to some different programming languages in the past, maybe you had a project, maybe you had something else that popped up and you had to learn some, some sort of coding language, try starting there. You know, maybe you have previously taken a Python class and you want to get more into robotics. I would brush up on your Python skills and start finding projects in the robotics space that are interesting to you and start building those. I have a ton of robotics projects here on Learn Robotics. You can check them out um, if you just go to learnrobotics.org slash blog, and that'll bring up all of the different articles. There's like 200 something tutorials. I've re-enabled the search, so you can just click the little magnifying glass on the top of the menu bar, and you can search in you know, robotics projects or Internet of Things projects or whatever, any, any sorts of robotics -y projects, they'll be there. And there's also a ton of projects on my YouTube channel. So you can just search Learn Robotics on YouTube and I should pop right up. So you can start building some projects, use the languages you already know, or maybe you've heard of things that are popular, things that you're interested in, find a project to work on. And then the last thing you need to do is you just need to pick a language, pick a project and just get started. You're not going to be perfect at the beginning. Just expect, go into it expecting that Honestly, like you're probably going to suck if you haven't done any coding in a while. And if you're new to something, just like everything, you're not the best when you first start something. It takes a good amount of practice, a good amount of time, some iterations to get things good. And then once you, you know, build that kind of process and that system and have experiences working on technical projects, writing code, creating robots, making websites, whatever it is you're trying to write, uh, use the software for to create you're going to get better over time. You'll naturally kind of pick up what it is you need to do. You'll come up with your own systems, your own procedures and try things out. Like that is the point. The, the biggest thing that a lot of my students that I see, whether they're in the Learn Robotics online programs or they're in RCA or Robotics Career Accelerator is they get this analysis paralysis and they see all these cool things that they could be doing. They never pick any of them. And then they're stuck exactly where they were years ago today because they just didn't pick something, try it. And, you know, honestly, it's better to fail fast than it is to wonder if you're going to be good at something and just keep delaying the decision to get started. So pick a language, use this as a, as a guide. You can kind of go application-based, you can go project-based, find the right tool for what you're trying to create, right? You wouldn't build a house with a hammer. Um, you want to make sure that you are choosing things that are going to be realistic. Like if you want to make a robot with HTML, good luck. That's not really going to work. Um, but if you want to create a, a website, great starting point, pretty easy to pick up HTML and CSS. Um, so just want to hop in here, share this little uh, kind of training with you. I hope it was valuable. If you did find it useful, let me know. Click reply. 
I'm going to be doing more of these little short and trainings. So if you do like them, please let me know. I'm happy to help you out. If you'd like to work with me directly in the Robotics Career Accelerator or in the Learn Robotics online programs, you can find us on learnrobotics.org, submit your application or enroll directly in Learn Robotics courses online. So thanks so much for taking time in your busy day and I will see you soon.